All right, you guys, welcome to the TWF crib. Today we are doing a special project that I've been super stoked on. I'm gonna show you guys um, what we're working with. We ordered some, I'm sure you guys all know this, but fish accessories are kind of expensive. So I was checking a couple different websites. I checked PetSmart, Petco, Walmart, and Amazon. It turns out that the cutest fish accessories and the ones that happened to be the cheapest were on Amazon. So I picked out a whole bunch of new ones and we are about to decorate the baby bass tank for the first time. So in this tank, we have two sheep's head minnows and an itty bitty tiny bass. So we are going to decorate it super cute for the first time and here we go. Okay, so I don't know if I'm gonna be using this or not. This is the originals I already had, which literally was just a piece of driftwood. We found it like Whitney, um, a plant that Jimmy had left over from a previous aquarium, and then this plant from the previous aquarium. We may or may not use this stuff. That's what they already had decorated. Now this is the box that just got delivered. I got super stoked and opened it without thinking, but um, I'm, I haven't actually opened any of this or pulled it out yet, so this is the first time for me to see it. So I'm gonna have to give it a good rinsing here in a sec. Okay, so we've got this like kind of oversized plant here. Let's just kind of pull everything out. Got this right here. That's pretty cute. I really like the way that looks. Okay, so we got that. Then we have, let's see. Oh yeah, this is the hidey hole. The chubs, which are the sheep's head minnow. Um, the actually most aggressive one is the large sheep's head minnow. The bass is not aggressive, but the tiny chubs gets attacked by the big chubs. So I think having some hidey holes will help the overall life situation. Okay, I love this one. That was one of the big reasons I picked this set out is because I thought it was super dope looking. It's like a little, I don't know, it's just cute. Okay, and then we got a whole bunch of little tiny ones. So we've got this one, really cute. Couple of those, I guess. Okay, kind of honestly, I took forever deciding, so I kind of forgot some of these because I'm like, it was all a set together. The only thing that wasn't together was this one. And I'll list the prices so you guys know if you want to get the same one. We're rocking a 20 gallon aquarium. That's what we're going to be decorating is a 20 gallon. And then I had to do this. I mean, come on, like it's too, you have to. So this thing, how do I open it? Okay, this is not easy one handed. Hold on one second. Okay, so we got that unwrapped. Let's see, let's see what it looks like. Oh my gosh. It's the SpongeBob pineapple. I mean, like, how do you beat that? It's just like, I feel like it was necessary for decorating a tank. So this is what we're working with. I think I spent a total of about $22. Again, I'll list the price, but I think that's about accurate. It was about 22 bucks on everything. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what we look like right now. Hi there. There's big chubs. That's the bully. <laughs> There's our baby little bass. He's so tiny. That's my thumb. He's like way small. And he's super curious about like absolutely everything. So we got big bass. And then the reason we are actually decorating is for tiny chubs. <laughs> tiny chubs is hiding back here <laughs> because big big chubs beats up on him. So we're giving him some, some hidey holes. That's kind of the plan for the day. All right, so here's what we're sporting now. Let's get it decorated. I'm gonna go rinse the plants. After I just washed all the plants off, you know, we have like this huge aquarium. It's like a 120 gallon or 150 gallon, something like that. Big, big aquarium Jimmy had before we got together. This one's new to us. Um, I picked it up after I sort of bought the bass without permission. And that's, he got added into the chubs. So, um, of course, Jimmy doesn't really care that much. It's not like I'm breaking up the relationship. It's fine. Okay, so I like to go big plants first to get them to the back. Obviously, I like seeing the fish as much as possible. So, we're going to go to the back with this one. I think it would belong here the best. Okay. I'm just going to get that down in there a little bit. Okay, fluff it out. Looks a little crooked. <laughs> I'm sure it'll even out. Okay. okay. I love this aquarium though. I got it for a steal. They had like a huge set of PetSmart. We had a five gallon before this. And then when I added the bass, I was like, okay, we need a little more space for them. They're kind of awfully small for this aquarium, but I hate it when people 
don't give enough space to their fish so we were avoiding that so yeah i just like to look at it eyeball it like what looks good where do i think everything's gonna lay out nicely um i really love this plant i think it's so cute i think i'm gonna put this one look at this one in the back before we move on okay so this one's going to the back this is the existing plant i already had but i mean it was from PetSmart. i'm sure you can get it for pretty cheap i'm gonna go ahead and add that baby back in here right there if i can get it down into the rocks okay all right let's rotate it a little bit okay more there okay I'm gonna push that just a little more forward so he's got more space to get behind it. Again, kind of the purpose is for coverage for little chubs. Okay, so now let's go to the next plant. Here is a really nice little, I don't know, what do you wanna call that, a bush? There's a little bush. I think the bush should go over here. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, this plant's gonna give me trouble. It doesn't have a base, it's effed up. So I had it kind of stuck to a seashell before <laughs> and now it's not. <laughs> so now it just like wants to rebel. Okay, so we've got, we're gonna do this cute little guy. I love this one. I went at the front cause it's so cute. All right, so we're gonna go right here in between the two. Okay. All right, now let's get some color going. I think we should put in our sweet little, <laughs> our sweet little pineapple. <laughs> he loves this side of the tank anyway, so I'm gonna give him the pineapple right here. Here's his little house, because he already stays on the right side anyway, so let's just rock it. Okay, and then we need this little gray house. I'm going to put it over on this opposite side like that that's a good spot for it okay and now all we have left is a couple brightly pink ones so we're just kind of doing pop colors so let's do this one right here actually you know what I think it needs to go on the back that looks good Okay, and then we'll do the pot, the bright pink ones at the front. So it's like some scattered throughout here. One. Two. <laughs> Those are like tiny little, <laughs> cute little plants. All right, and then I think one right next to their house over here. <laughs> okay. All right, that's what I'm feeling. I like to kind of tweak it over time, but I think that's a really solid start. That's probably how I'm gonna have it set up, but you know, I hold the right to move stuff around a little bit for the next couple days. Look at how cute it is. You are the piece I know. When I'm feeling alone, no other place I go Just keep leading me home, you are the peace I know And I'm never too far gone You are the peace I know When I'm feeling alone, no other place I go Just keep leading me home, you are the peace I know and I'm never too far gone All I want is just your loving conversation I keep running cause you're filling me with patience You're in nothing, I can trust in what you're shaping I keep praising, ooh Not on my own I know that I'll never be too far from home, too far from home. There's no place I can go to be too far alone. You never leave me. I live for men and seating. The 
listen at the B team. You are the piece I know. When I'm feeling alone, no other place I go. Just keep leading me home. You are the piece I know. And I'm never too far gone. You are the piece I know. When I'm feeling alone, no other place I go. Just keep leading me home, you are the beast I know And I'm never too far gone You are the peace I know When I'm feeling alone, no other place I go Just keep leading me home, you are the beast I know And I'm never too far gone Well, that is how we decorated our tiny bass tank for $22. And I'd say we got a pretty good deal. It looks super cute. I absolutely love the little pineapple. Pineapple. And I think my favorite plant's probably this little fluffy one alongside the little pink ones because it's kind of nice. It has like accent colors. Anyways, that's our aquascaping for the day. Goodbye. <laughs>